Hey what's up guys Dan here, welcome to a new FIFA 18 squad builder. Today's video I've got an 80k amazing Calcio A squad with the likes of Douglas Costa, Brozovic and Icardi. It's a lovely team to use and for 80k you're getting an absolute bargain team. We was in a 4 2 2 formation, before we get any further could you smash the like button on this video and get us to 50 likes if possible and if you're new around here could you subscribe as well. And down below my Twitter link is there, uh, that's probably the best way of getting a reply from me, that's where I'm checking every sort of day and yeah that's where you can get a sort of hold of me. Now we start off in this team with Chesney in goal, with, who's 82 rated and he is so good for the coins you're paying for him. He made some really really important saves and I'd highly recommend using him. If you don't want to use him then use Perrin instead. I've come up against him so many times and he's just done so many weird and wonderful things against me just to stop me from scoring. Now in the left back position we've got Dalbert and in right back we've got Florenzi. Now Florenzi is actually the most expensive player in the squad I think apart from Bozovic maybe. Um, he's got 85 pace and 82 dribbling but for a right back that is obviously quite expensive so if you want to save some coins you could maybe get someone like Abate. Now in centre-back positions we've got Koulibaly and um, I think it was Barzagli the other one who's got 73 pace, 85 defending and 86 physical. Now I played around 7 or 8 games with this team, had a lot of fun with it but I also had enough games just to see what the team was like, its weaknesses and its advantages and these centre-backs were really really good for my team. Now Barzagli's got 71 pace, 88 defending and 73 physical so Koulibaly is obviously the most um, the strongest player in this defence. Um, and it showed he was a really good defender, really good in the air. And we've got a penalty save from Chesney right here, just diving across and getting a strong hand away. Now, um, I need your comments down below on squads which you want to see on my channel. I want to see the price you'd pay for that squad, but also um, maybe a certain player you want in it as well, and what maybe league as well. So um, I can sort of follow those guidelines and hopefully made a squad that you'd actually like to use and someone you'd like to build and use in a weekend league maybe. Now we've got another defensive clip right here where they got built through to Pedro and it's a lovely save from Chesney, just palming it away and we managed to get enough defenders behind the ball just to stop for the shot from coming in again. The ball does actually get down past Bazagli right there but it is Koulibaly who gets a good strong foot in and uh, sets up counter attack. Now we can move on to the midfield part of this team, we've got a CDM, a CAM, a left mid and a right mid. Now we start from the CDM position, we have got Sanchez who's 77 rated on this game. He's got 67 pace, 70 dribbling, 74 defending and 84 physical and cost me 700 coins. Now for CDM he is a perfect player for this squad. Obviously you're not relying on him to go forward at all but he's a really strong centre defensive midfield. Now in, now in the left mid position we have got Douglas Costa who got me 3 goals and 3 assists in 8 games. He has got that 5 star skill moves, he's got that flair trait I believe and he just gets down that line all the time with his pace, gets in the right place at the right time and just helps my attack out in general. Now in the right mid position we have got Juan Cuadrado who's got a lot of pace in him and has also got that 5 star skill moves and to finish off this midfield we have got Inform Bozovic, he's 84 rated this year on this Inform and he's actually the first Inform I've used on FIFA 18. He's got 73 pace, 85 dribbling and 84 passing and actually got me 5 goals in 8 games which is pretty decent for a cam. Now he cost me 31,000 coins so yes he was a little bit more expensive than Florenzi but you can save a bit more on the squad, you can take out 50k worth of players in um, Bozovic and Florenzi by maybe replacing him with Abate and maybe someone like Borja Vejalero, um or maybe someone like uh, Bursa. They're both really cheap players on this game compared to these two. However, it is definitely worth the 80k you're paying for this team. And I, I wouldn't have made any changes myself. So we've got a few midfield clips right here. Um, a lovely bit of skill just a bit earlier on. I was really unlucky to hit the post with Bozovic actually with a nice flick over my head. Now another clip right here. We get the ball down to Quadrado. He cuts in. Um, and he gets the ball past the keeper. It was pretty bit bad defending um, in general and also the bad keeper mistake. So uh, I can't really say much about that clip but this one I can say a lot about. What a flick over the defender with his head and then Douglas Costa with an, a lovely volley from him just to get it past the keeper on the edge of the box. That was my favourite goal with this team and you can do stuff like that with him. He's got a really really powerful shot on him. He's got a good free kick. His free kick stats are really really good and I'd really recommend using him. Now he's a bit of fun to play with as he's got those 5 star skill moves on the wings in, in uh, Quadrado and obviously Douglas Costa and that's why I had a lot of fun with this team. You've got players who can do sort of special things and that's what you want to do in a weekend league now recently on FIFA since the patch I've really not enjoyed it at all um, 
to the point where it gets frustrating to play and gets frustrating to make videos because I feel like I'm not scoring enough good goals um, and also not like making the right sort of team with the way that the game is at the moment and that's actually making me sort of less motivated to make the videos and that's why you haven't seen a video from me this week because I wanted to wait until the time where I was happy with a video I was uploading um, because I'm just not playing th that well with the, t the game at the moment I'm not winning that many games and I'm not scoring many good goals I'm scoring a lot of goals but just not ones which I'd like to include in a video to be honest they're ones with like rebound goals and stuff like that that's just the way the game is at the moment anyway let's move on to this squad we've got the final two players in it First off is Adair, who got me 10 goals in 8 games with 3 assists as well. He's got 85 pace, 83 dribbling, and that sort of a cam and the two strikers makes it a bit of an ultimate trio. That's a bit of a hint with a series which should be coming soon. And to finish the squad off, we have got Icardi, who's 84 rated this year. He's got 78 pace, 83 shooting, and has got me 21 goals so far. Now, you've obviously seen him in a squad recently with me, um, and I just love the player so much that I wanted to try him again. And he proves to be so great in every team which I play with him. He pops up in the right areas, he's got good pace, got good finishing. He's just a perfect striker for me, he fits my style of play so well. And if you haven't used him so far, then please just try him, please get him out of the way and just show how worth he is for like a team um, entering the weekend league. I mean, he's not expensive, um, he's a player who just does really, really well for any team. Now, we've got a few attacking clips right here with uh, my two strikers right now, just showing you how good they actually were for me. They linked up so well and we're getting nice goals, but also the goals which you really, really need to score. Again, we get down the line right here, cross the ball in to Douglas Costa who holds the ball up really well. Feeds it back in and it's a lovely finish in the end just to get it past the keeper. But I'd expect to score goals like that with my striker. When you've got a striker on FIFA 18, you've got to expect them with the shooting stats that they've got to score goals for you. And that's what this team did. I mean, a lovely chip from Adair right there to get it over the keeper and to finish that game off. I think it was 7-0 in that game, in fact. Again, a lovely goal from here, right from Adair again. Getting in, cutting inside and finishing off into that near post. We get that down the line with Icardi this time. The simple ball roll just beats so many defenders on FIFA 18. You just have to try it out. It fools me, fools everyone, um, but it's just a skill which just is so simple but so effective. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, could you smash that like button? I really appreciate your support. I mean, your support on most videos so far have been absolutely awesome. And again, I will be trying to upload as consistently as possible. So if you hit that subscribe button, um, I'm sure I hope like the squads which I build will be um, like good for you as well because I try to make as many sort of as much of a range of videos as possible uh, with squad builders as such I mean, I mean I mean squad builders are like sort of the dominant feature on my channel but I mean squads for all sort of players I mean players who have got 50k coins players who've got 10k coins but also players who've got a bit more money um, and want to buy that better team so that is this video finished thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video